one of the most shocking Facebook status updates ever. A woman collapsed in her kitchen, blood everywhere. Her bloody body contorted in just the most vile way. But this is not a gag, and it's not Halloween. The gruesome photo posted by the killer. And what did you do once you took that photo? Uploaded it on Facebook. Unbelievably, he's her own husband. How did this happen? The answer and the murder are all caught on camera. Jennifer Alfonso was everybody's friend. Jennifer was very kind and caring. Her heart was just so pure. It allowed people to be vulnerable and open with her because she was such a good person. Jennifer, a single mom of a young daughter, met Derek Medina while waiting tables at Denny's in South Miami. Derek Medina was a real Miami character, someone who was really a narcissist, someone who was really self-involved. Someone who fancied himself a jack of all trades. He was someone that wrote a series of self-published electronic books that virtually nobody read. Books with catchy titles like How I Save Someone's Life and Marriage and Family Problems Through Communication. And if the world ended today, how would you react to saving the world or helping the world, or would it all be over for you? In addition to writing, he was an amateur boxer and also an aspiring actor. But Derek wasn't finding much success in Hollywood, so he tried his luck on a smaller screen. Record me, man. I'm trying to get my kicks. Often posting clips of himself on social media. I think Derek really craved that attention from the outside world. Derek was getting attention from Jennifer and they were on the relationship fast track. Within the first month of dating, they married. One of their common interests, the supernatural. Her and Derek used to go see ghost tours in different cities. Reportedly, Derek even put cameras up in the house hoping to catch their own spirit or two. They were sort of interested in things outside of the mainstream, but they made a really unique pair. Unique and also volatile. They fought a lot. They would just fight about silly things. He would break up with her often. He would throw her things to the side, insult her, and then ignore her. Jen used to call them Mexican standoffs. She would surrender often. You know, she loved him. But love wouldn't be enough. Derek eventually filed for divorce. So Jennifer moved into an apartment and she was doing very well. And then he started contacting her again. Whatever he said or did worked. The very next day they were getting married at the courthouse. Like the very next day. So a second ride on the marriage go round, but the relationship was as tumultuous as ever. It was very late. Like, like sick in the head. He would tell her things to make her sad or to scare her. One time when he heard another man was hitting on Jennifer at work, a jealous Derek allegedly said, I'm gonna stay at Denny's with a gun outside and <laughs> I'm gonna see if he's gonna with me. And we would tell Jennifer like, hey, he's a little crazy. Like he's gonna kill you, man. And she, she would just look at us and laugh. There was nothing funny about what was to come. It's early on this hot summer morning and Jennifer is fuming. She had asked Derek to wake her up. Derek didn't, so she was upset. The argument starts in their bedroom. She started throwing things at him, like a typical type of fight that they would have. After that, Jennifer goes downstairs, reportedly to go make pancakes for her 10-year-old daughter, who's still up in her room. The surveillance camera in the house shows Jennifer in the kitchen. 27 minutes later, Derek appears. Eventually, Derek follows her down there. They continue going at it, and she actually starts hitting him in the chest, and he walks away. Back upstairs to his bedroom. Moments later, Derek comes back down to the kitchen, and this time, he's not empty-handed. When Derek comes downstairs, he has his gun with him. Reportedly, Jennifer grabs a knife to defend herself, but she won't have it for long. Derek disarms her of the knife and puts the knife back in the drawer. Then, seconds later... <laughs> 
Derek empties his gun, shooting an unarmed Jennifer eight times. In full view of the camera, you just see the swirl of gunpowder. And it really was a chilling bit of footage. As the blizzard settles, Derek calmly walks away. He puts his gun back in the closet, then tells Jennifer's daughter to stay in her room. You know, no regard to the fact that he just shot her mother dead when she's lying on the kitchen floor. Derek goes back to the kitchen, this time with his phone in hand, but he's not going to call for help. What he's about to do will send a chill down your spine. When I saw it, I realized that it was real. I just can't believe it. Coming up. I thought that Jen was playing some role in Walking Dead or something. The ghoulish Facebook post that goes viral. And it's skyrocketed around the world, and that's exactly what he wanted. 